we go. You want me to net him? Good one? It's a good starter fish. I got him. Right in. You know, folks, for the past several years, I haven't missed the opportunity to come up and fish with a buddy of mine, Steve Davis, on the Detroit River for these guys. The Detroit River Walleye Run, the largest walleye migrations in the country. These, wa these walleye are coming out of Lake Erie, which has tremendous hatches the last several years, and they come up into the Detroit River, which represents about 90% of Lake Erie water, and they come up and spawn every year. There are millions of fish in the Detroit River, and we're here looking for six or 12 of them. So stick with us, we're gonna have some fun. I was gonna say, I felt that. He hit that <laughs> golf hard. Get him, Steve, get him. <laughs> Folks, we got a beautiful morning. Perfect weather for this, yeah, Steve. Nice oh one. man, that's a beauty. That's my golf. Holy and, cow. Uh, <laughs> no wonder I felt them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Folks, look at that. Oh, now that's a chunk. Would this be a spawned out female, Steve? Looks like it, doesn't it? Let's bump yeah. this one, Steve. Whoa, oh, look at oh, Whoa. you got 24 and a half, buddy, there almost. There you go, <laughs> yeah. You know, we do a lot of catch and release on Midwest Outdoors, but every now and then, great walleye meal is awesome. Let's uh, let's run back up. All right, yeah. We're coming down this, this narrow channel, shallow on either side. Uh, once we get down here at the uh, on the south end of this channel, it starts to get shallow again. We'll make a run back up, start all over, come back down, run back up, come back down, run back up, till we got our 12 fish. Shouldn't Doesn't take look long. like it's gonna take long. <laughs> yeah, I know. At this rate. <laughs> uh, I I pulled it up once. One jig and it was on, And huh? it was on. It's a nice one, too. Look at him. Oh, nice. Jeez, <laughs> I know. So, folks, what we're doing, we're making these slips or runs. The Detroit River is probably one of the strongest, the strongest currents in the world. And the trolling motor plays a huge role in catching these fish. So when you catch these fish, Steve, right, you're actually fighting the wind and the current at the same time. So we got a north wind uh, going in the same direction as the current. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to keep the line as vertical of a presentation as you can. Um, so he's trying to fight the current to slow us up, actually. Correct, Steve? When I know my, when my line's vertical, then I know that the boat and the current and the wind are all in sync. And I'm just along for the ride back here. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's doing all oh, the work, here. right, Steve? Well, let me get this one. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, look, what is this? You're on fire today. Uh, he's a good one. Feels like a good one. Yeah, not bad. Let me lift him in, Larry, I got nope, him. Nope, I got that. Yeah. All okay. right, hey. Yeah, look at, they're all roughly same size, just dandy. There you go. I'll tell you, see, the, the nice thing about the gulp, you know, I mean, they stay on and they're hardy. You can use it more than one <laughs> fish, yeah, huh? Yeah, you can. Uh, one ounce jig, four inch finesse worm, a stinger hook, and then we've got our gulp minnow on top of that. It's it's quite the setup, but I'll tell you, it's deadly. Let me come net him. I get him, I think. It's a big fish, though. Is it? Let me net him. It's a biggie. Whoa, staying down. Oh, oh yeah. It's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, baby! Ho, ho, ho. Jeez, Jeez. you guys are going to go back with some serious steaks. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's a nice one. That's beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. I think we found the big ones. It was a good fight, too. I like that. All right, well, we talked about the, the, the jigs and the finesse, finesse minnows that we're using, but the rod and reel is very important. This particular rod is a Abu Garcia Veritas PLX. 6.9 medium light, my absolutely favorite rod. When I pull up, see how the rod bends a little bit more? Gives it a little more action, but when we're in deeper water, you know, we switch to a 6.6 medium. Wow, this one's staying down. Want me to net him? 
probably should. Oh, yeah. They can drag you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this might not be a walleye, Steve. Number 12's a big one, Steve. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, no, it's a big walleye. <laughs> wow, yeah. Wow, he is. Oh. What a dandy. <laughs> what a great way to finish. That's a healthy one. And they are stocked, and they are stacked and stocked in the Detroit River. I want to thank my buddy Steve Davis for hosting us again and allowing us to come and fish in this beautiful Prince Craft boat. Look at how nice that fish is. Isn't wow. that beautiful? Guys, if you want to come out and experience the Detroit walleye run out of Lake Erie in April and May, it's a blast. There are millions of fish in this river system just waiting for you. I'm Larry Ladowski along with Steve Davis, Midwest Outdoors, be right back. We'll catch you later. <laughs>